Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. So I was scrolling through Twitter the other day and I came across DaVinci Resolve's Twitter page and they're announcing DaVinci Resolve 17 on Monday, November 9th for the majority of people and like depending on your time zone, November 10th, which is awesome. We've been running 16 now for quite a while. Obviously this whole year things have been delayed and so normally we would see, I guess, a software release from Blackmagic around NAB time. They didn't do that, so I mean, I'm hoping that means we're gonna get a full release on this Monday, like they're gonna give us a full release date rather than a beta. So I just wanted to do a quick video and talk about my wish list for what they're gonna introduce in the new version of DaVinci Resolve. So yeah, let's pretty much talk about it. So obviously they're gonna do a lot of uh, like enhancements in terms of optimization and that DaVinci Resolve is already one of the faster video editing softwares out there. It's way faster than Premiere and pretty close to Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro still has the edge, but it's pretty close. So obviously they're just gonna continue with that and a lot more GPU acceleration across the software, although it's pretty much covered from head to toe at the moment. I also expect that they're gonna start fixing a lot of bugs that are there. Everyone knows DaVinci Resolve is a little bit buggy, especially if you're using Fusion or some like heavier editing sort of techniques can tend to crash a little bit. So hopefully they iron those out. That's just sort of what you get when you use DaVinci Resolve. But some of the things I'm really looking forward to, or at least hoping for, is a few different sort of, I guess, revamp ways of doing things. So one of my least favorite things to do in DaVinci Resolve is, I guess, time stretch, time remapping, speed ramping, and all that sort of stuff. I really like the interface that Final Cut Pro has, and I hope that they implement maybe an easier way to implement it. If you've ever speed ramped in DaVinci Resolve, you know there's quite a few different steps to having to like get the graph visible, and then you gotta ease in the keyframes and all this sort of stuff and that could definitely be a little bit more streamlined. So I'm hoping, and not just with that, but also a few other more technical editing workflows in the edit tab that they sort of streamline and make a little bit easier. They did this with a couple of the releases in DaVinci Resolve 16.1, I believe it is, or even it might've been 16 itself, where they brought stabilization, some simple audio effects to the edit tab. So I'm hoping they do something similar here. Another thing I would love for them to do is, I guess, a little bit more customization. Like if you've got a dual monitor set up, DaVinci Resolve's not great for that. So uh, like movable panels or something along those lines, similar to Pre Premiere or Adobe, but not quite, would be really nice. And just, I don't know about you, but like I have my timeline set up a very specific way. Like I have a really thin video bar, and then I have the audio bar on the timeline quite large with the, uh, with the waveform. And I can't seem to find the option to save that as a setting. I set a default workspace, but it never seems to load that. So I'm hoping maybe we get some more customization options in there. A few other things, I would love some sort of integration with the royalty-free music sites out there. Obviously they did a lot of work in the past bringing audio libraries in to DaVinci Resolve, and I have recently just done a video on that and integration with YouTube and Frame.io. So further integration into services that a lot of us use would be awesome to see. And on that, in terms of, I guess, integrating DaVinci Resolve with a few others, I guess, workflow techniques, is I'd really like to see a bigger range of plugin support. We all know that Adobe has a bunch of plugins. We all know Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro seems to have the best plugins. And DaVinci Resolve was always hit and miss in terms of plugins. So I'd really like to see some sort of, I guess, some sort of like SDK that they can release so that people can start building software and like plugins for DaVinci Resolve. That'd be really good to see. And something that's accessible and affordable for the majority of us. Because I know a lot of us use the software for free. So it'd be good to have some sort of integration there. But really, I like DaVinci Resolve as is, so there's only a few more little tweaks here and there that I would like to see. I, more effects added to Fusion, the better. If they can bring more of, I guess, the standalone Fusion software into DaVinci Resolve, that'd be great. So you could do a few more advanced effects. But we all, like the color tab's incredible. Fusion is really good. The edit tab's pretty much, it's almost there. So I feel like DaVinci Resolve 17 is going to be like really fine tuning, I guess, the methods that they brought in with 16 in terms of how we accomplish tasks in DaVinci Resolve and making them way more streamlined, faster, and just easier to use. But I'm super excited and I will be, well, I might live stream the event or I'll do something about the event when it announces. So be sure to subscribe to see a video on DaVinci Resolve 17. We're gonna go through all the new features. So I'm really excited to check it out on Monday. Here are the times if you want to watch their live stream. Should be pretty good and yeah. That's it for this video, just a few thoughts. And subscribe to the channel if you wanna see what's going on with DaVinci Resolve 17 next week.